right good evening good morning and good afternoon probably it's a good day afternoon so i'm gonna be pretty fast so i'm going i need to edit i have an appointment probably it's an hour, an hour and a half and uh, the people they're gonna come online they're gonna see what i'm doing so hello to everybody from the beginning to the end you can let me know where you are from are you up to and hold on a second let me put my charger in. stupid things hold on hold on guys hold on okay that sounds like a lot of interesting stuff cool so today what i have to do my appointment it's gonna be about a snake on the air and uh, it's very interesting because i never done air she wants something similar to look like this it's gonna be realistic and this is the snakes this is the snakes we're gonna go for it's a king snake so what i'm doing i'm done i'm doing a research and then uh, i try to kind of uh, somehow make all this happen and then when i have the stencil when she comes in i just bang, 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 align them um very truly i never done this so i don't even know how how to approach it to be very honest i never tattoo an air i don't even know how that one reacts i know it's gonna be a headache and that's the position to make it happen probably gonna spend hours doing the placing placing the stencil but until then i'm gonna spend hours at least one hour make this one happen so right now i'm looking for basically what i'm looking for where is that design here so basically what i'm looking for i'm trying to kind of figure out shapes so i touch them together and make it somehow happen Instead of the way the ring comes here, she wants the snake coming here, the head of the snake. So I have something here, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to, this is pretty cool, but it's the angle, so I have to keep an eye on the angle. So let's see what I come across. Now, this is pretty much the way I pro stuff. So I don't know if it's gonna be a tutorial or whatever it's gonna be but is um, something and I don't even know I put myself through all this stuff sometimes this is more like a project I took it as a project more than the tattoo himself she's a friend so otherwise probably I mean I still ref I wouldn't refuse it but I would charge way more way more for the amount of work and uh, headache will give me but then again, I still need to do this. If I do it once, that means I can do it again a second time. And probably the biggest challenge is uh, to do fine and to see how I approach this design. Oh, that's a nice one. So that'll be the challenge, the actual challenge. And then to put a stencil on, <coughs> excuse me. So what's up, Agatha too? yeah so this is a uh, fucking interesting man and i tell you one thing when it comes to tattoos the whatever is for me at least the harder the better as uh, i like challenging i like something to fuck my brain up but some things they're not like this one i don't even know man i don't even know why they say yes that's the truth that's the truth. Let me see how that one goes. And again, I never tattoo. Oh, that's nice. I never tattoo air in my life, so I don't even know how that one feels. Did somebody tattoo the air? I don't know how it even down reacts actually. And I don't want to tattoo with coil. I mean, initially probably I would use a coil on this one, but I'm just gonna take it easy and do it with the rotaries. And I'm gonna use one liner and a three liner mostly and because it's color fuck my life 
it's gonna be tiny it's gonna be realistic and again the way i approach it i'm relaying more to get a shape and then i will retouch it up like my tattoos is based on doing another touch up to make sure it lasts forever and it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting to see the project pro the whole project of the healing situation and the application situation man and again i repeat i didn't even know where the fuck i put myself through all this because this is not i don't know but that's just me talking Ooh, that's nice it's gonna be very interesting if it's done right i think it's gonna be unique i think it's gonna be something i'll be very happy with it and it's gonna be a nice portfolio piece on my miniatures tattoos because i love doing miniature tattoos if people are are some of you are actually know what the like i do a lot of miniature that's my new thing now and i like the process to see them healed yesterday i posted up on instagram a tattoo i done six months ago it's a small doggy like that tiny oh wait a minute the camera here is that tiny and i remember when i done it people were freaking out and tried to explain me how it's not gonna last i was like yeah right and it did last super super amazing and all the other miniature look fantastic so what can i tell you this is gonna be something which i don't know it's in the air the on the air so i don't know i don't know how that works man i don't know i don't know how i don't know how down react but anyway okay maybe open image and new tab so if any of you has experience with um with this just let me know how to approach it yeah I, I mean again it's probably the worst thing is to apply it on and how how to wrap it around the air man to still keep the stencil i'll say but yeah that's how it is so this is the video it's about this i don't know what's to learn probably the learning process is gonna be it's gonna be when i do the photoshop thing <clears throat> probably probably not so enjoy Ooh, look at this one any questions i'll be happy to answer man there's so many of those they're really nice man actually they're really really nice well of course like an idiot that was my idea to she wanted like something simple although oh no let's make this i know these little snakes with red and black and they look cool i mean i can do it black and gray i can do this but was, of course my idea to make my job harder and i'm not proud of it sometimes i think i shouldn't have said i shouldn't uh, put myself in the that situation but then as i as i repeat myself i think challenging myself it's good and that's a general thing man i mean for any kind of art if you challenge yourself you just do you you're gonna become a better artist regardless you know but that's kind of the the thing i'm guessing i hope i'm gonna be right i'm not gonna fuck it up so probably with this one, I'm going to have it live while I'm tattooing. It's going to be a boring uh, tattoo as it's going to take forever. But yeah. Oh, this is a nice picture. Oh, well, I got it. Look at this. I like that one. That can come behind the air. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I think I kind of have uh, all the things I need for now. Oh, this is going to be... This is gonna be fun. I mean, definitely editing is the fun part of it. That's a small image, actually. No, yeah, no. Okay, cool. So that thing is the most fun of it. And I do hope you guys gonna learn something from it. Us, we learn together. 
love this stuff. Love this stuff. Little bastards. Look at them. Ooh, that's interesting. I think that's not an original photo. That's a design. But I can take it, use it, and be happy with it. All right. And that's enough. Okay, cool. Let me see. Save all the stuff. Man, I have a bad habit of making a heavy research on my stuff and I clutter myself with 20, image, 20, 30 images. But then I know it will affect the bad result. It will affect the end result, which then result it's about having an amazing piece of art. And all said, I mean, probably people that watch me now, or probably the people that are going to watch this video, I hope they're going to realize how much work is uh, put into it, into, into doing a tattoo. doesn't matter, small or big. The concept is always the same. That's why I think I figure it is, you know. And the smaller, actually, the smaller is the harder to do, man. Smaller, they're harder to do. Image, 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 tab. Oh man, that's a fucking tiny image. I don't need it. I don't need it. Hold on a second, size. Let me go on large at least. All right. I still gonna. Actually, I don't even know what I'm looking for. This is cool, but that's. I don't even know. I think I just kind of try to put all the images together and then go with what we have undo it there you go no 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 let's do that one go ahead there so yeah that's the today thing and i was while i was kind of uh, preparing all this i said to myself let's do a video about it let's do a video because may as well have a productive day and teach some future artist or artist something else or actually learn together because as i said i don't have a clue this is i'm a kind of virgin for this territory doing this kind of stuff here yeah so how is everyone i hope everyone has an amazing beautiful day i will gladly be in a bar and get fucking drunk but hey that's the life of an artist. And guess what? After I'm finishing, I'm gonna start for another project for tomorrow. That's how it usually happens. Oh, talking about tomorrow. Actually, no, forget about it. Yeah, tomorrow. True story. This is a true story. So I had an appointment last time. I kind of rebook it, cancel it, and the movie for another date, which I take the pauses for my appointment. Anyway, so yesterday. The person, the client, emailed me saying that he wants the deposit back, and he says that he wanted to draw. He wanna. He wants the deposit back because uh, I didn't provide him the design he wanted, which always told him, "Listen, I give you before a week before. During that week, I'm gonna send you a kind of a design. What the what the person wanted was a." Uh, face and the tiger so he was very specific a face like i don't know it's like model face which is cool and then a tiger on top of it i was like that's cool now what happened is last time he kind of few days before he canceled it so luckily i didn't put much work into it i didn't design it and now he canceled it and he called me a liar which i told him he's like listen you welcome have the deposit back and i'm glad you cancel in advance because truly i didn't put a design I didn't put it, I didn't make the design because I have like 20 years of experience dealing with people, man. And uh, through the emails, I knew already this kind of a person that uh, he wants uh, the design and go to another artist to do it. I kind of felt it, he was very specific about it the way he, so I knew I gotta leave it on the last day and I will send him on the last day, I'm gonna send him the design and I will take a photo and send it to him instead to just send the whole file but of course he i guess that he 
he kind of realized that he knew that it's not gonna happen of uh, missing the design way earlier so he can go to another artist and the moral of the story is there's lots of people out there they hustle the artist and they after they get the design they go to another artist to get it done because it's cheaper now if your fucking artist is not able to do your design and you want to hustle somebody else for design for whatever point whatever the, whatever the reason is probably shouldn't get a tattoo in the first place from that person if you can't do it second of all cheers brother only because the only because the like i do my designs on my tattoos yeah Cheers, brother. Hey, Tia. We're up, we're up. So, well, I was reading that text and I got, so basically what I want to say is um, only because I want to do, I do design and I have my tattoos, that doesn't, doesn't mean that another artist can mimic it, you know? It's not like, oh, if you bring me the design, I'm going to tattoo exactly. Nah, man, come on. doesn't work like that. So the moral of the story will be, as artists or a future artist, if it's out there, if you feel that the 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 the, the customers try to hustle you, nah. You see, this is the the tattoo industry is kind of a it's kind of a game where you have to know your your clients as well. And generally, by through the emails, like I don't do in person. And all my because it's only appointments only, so all my uh, thing is all my all my. Um, all my tattoos are, uh, all my tattoos or designs that go through email and correspondence. I know already up, yo, that guy sent me 30 fucking emails, man. 30 emails he sent me to make sure, to make sure that he wants exactly one. And that one to me was very weird. So never mind I spent lots of hours doing that, like back and forth with emailing. But I was very specific and I felt, usually clients that trust you, They'll be, okay, I trust your artwork, thank you, and uh, I'm happy with whatever come up. That's the thing. When they start being very specific and hassle you, it's not, yo, it's not like a Burger King, you know? So they're very specific. I knew already that that person is not, that person is not up to his words. And it's not the first time that somebody tried to get a design for whatever the price of the deposit is, so they can save a lot of money and get stuff. Listen, it's one thing you can go on the internet and take pictures down, whatever it is. But uh, again, the tattoo artist has to know about this. And a good tattoo artist, we wouldn't copy, will actually make his own designs. You can use any images as an example and, you know, cut, copy, cut, paste, whatever it is. But actually to just specific that thing, like if you look, search for clock tattoo and you see a nice tattoo already of clock and you just bring it to your artist and the artist traces and tattoo on you. I mean, that's his own thing that's his own stuff but but uh what i'm saying is hold on a second image but i do think somehow you as a person you should actually have something original on you man like ask the artist to change the design you want your own you want your own thing so that was my a mini rant for today and um, I like to talk about stuff like this. Hold on a second, what did I do? Oh my fuck. Okay. So I like to talk about stuff like this because this is real life bullshit and as an artist we will deal with. And all said is the whole discussion is because you see now the way I'm doing uh, the stencil, it takes a long time and people generally customers they don't have a clue and they shouldn't have a clue. I mean I'm serious, they shouldn't know what you have a price and that's your price, right? So if you charge whatever you charge per hour per design, that's your deal and the client pays. But sometimes they don't have a clue how much work goes into it. And that's the sad part about this industry. We kind of somehow being hustled and that doesn't work like that. If it makes sense. Let me see, okay, I like this one. Oh, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, where is my phone? I have to show you here what's happening, because I want to show you how she wants the design. 
It's like this. So she kind of sent me a sketch of. So she wants to design through the air. The snake goes through it. So bam, 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 goes around it. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me do a sketch on this very fast. And how would I do this? I just wanna, so it goes here. I just wanna kind of have it for my own sake of mind. All right. All right, this goes in goes in and then this one goes there cool so that's how it's gonna work now they have that one get out of the way let's see the way we do it i'm gonna start with the head oh i see lots of people left fuck yeah they left it's good because i told you man this is boring this is not you see that's the funniest part even as an artist we do find things boring and this is one of them I like that one I like that one I like that one cool let's play around with it first what I do I rotate the image because it goes the other way right here let me make the image size larger because what happened is the uh, image size actually that's a large image let me see cool cool so if it does the case we're gonna get uh, this part here we're gonna bring it right here let's see how that one works Here we are. So something like that. So that will come from there. Okay. Hold on a second. I need this one. So actually I like the way it goes around it. So actually I'm going to use this part here. Yo, this is going to look dope, man. It's, it's well worth it. Whatever I'm talking about, this and that, clients, this, that, blah, blah, blah. It's all mega worth it. All right. I'm telling you, this is mega worth it. So that will go behind there. Hold on, what am I missing here? What am I missing here? I like the... Okay, the thing with Photoshop... Uh, com uh, comparing to the conventional... Tattooing, like trace and just find images, comparing to that one... You work a lot, personally, I mean, that personally, that's just my own personal thing. You do have a, a lot faster visual and error fixing. So that's my personal stuff. Um, again, what up, Jan? What up, Jan? I, uh, that's my personal thing. That's why I kind of learn Photoshop a lot. And it's, I'm loving it, man. One thing in life, as a tattoo artist, I grew because I learned Photoshop on the for my style at least for rallies it's a must there you go what i did is i show you right now i like that band so if i can figure out how that band goes behind the air and now let me find the air let me find the air hold on a second. i need the air man I need a ear, I need a ear, because it's nicer to work on a clear, clear, clear image. Perfect, let me see how down looks, super perfect. Where the fuck did it go? Here. Cool. Open image in new tab. Perfect. Let's play with this. Come on, man. Fucking Photoshop. There you go. Image rotate. Cool.
cool and what I'm gonna do let me make it bigger there you go actually let me do it like this all right so we're gonna bring it here I mean, again, this tutorial is more about how I do my stuff. It's not about being right, wrong, left, right, whatever the fuck it is. It's about the way I do stuff. And if somebody can learn something from it, good. If not, it's all the fucking same to me. I just want to help. I was had a discussion the other day with somebody and we're talking about and one thing as an artist, listen, nobody teach me anything. And I kind of, uh, I kind of, uh, at the time when I learned, I would have wished that to be all these things to learn faster. So I struggle a lot, man. And I don't want that to happen, man, to, 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 to anybody. Like if you, if you can, if you can, Learn faster, man, and something to help. Why the fuck no, you know? It's simple like that, man. It's simple like that. It's not all about you can share. If you can share something, man, share something. It's B. Now you see what I've done here? So I open a layer mask here. I show right here. You see that one? So basically, if you press on vector mask, you press on the vector mask. I show what happens. So when you work non-destructive, you press on the vector mask, then you press on the vector mask. So that's selected. You see that one is uh, select now that layer, but if you select the vector mask, you can come here. So now it's on black. Let me make it bigger. So now it's on black here, right? So what happened is, there you go. And because I'm cool, I'm gonna take the white off too and delete. There you go. So I can see straight up how the the snake is gonna come behind the air, right? There you go. Hold on a second. Oop, oh, hold on a second. Let me cut down more. That's the back. So. That's how it is. Probably she's not gonna want this. I mean, that should come here. But anyway, so realistically, I don't know if she's gonna shave her head. It'll be nice to come on this or even bring it lower. But still, that's the band. So that's why when I done the research on my on my pictures, I was looking for that uh, the original, you know, band stuff. Like you know, to make it look natural, man. That's really fucking important. There you go. Could be higher there. Something like that. Let me see if that works. X. Fuck. Go higher. All right. Let's see. If that's good. Cool. So that's done for now. Man, fuck you. Right there. All right. Cool. That's done for now. As an idea, now we need something to put inside the air. Is I don't think so. That's a air, man. I'm like an idiot. Oh, every air is different, and I'm just looking at it now. So she wants us, the snake part to go that way, and the fucking air I have. I hope she doesn't have air like this because there's not much gap in there. Let me find one more flat. Here we are. Here we are. That's better. You see how much, much, much more flat is there. That's definitely better. So let's take that one. Open image in your tab. There you go. So I'm using that image now. Image rotate. Pam 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 pam. Make it size. Let me cut this stuff here. Actually not. I'll bring it here again. Cool. Yeah, the, the the it's kind of a difference. You see the difference. So again, that's how I would say we learn as we do stuff. See the, the the that area is the the shape. I mean, I don't know. I should have asked her for 
to sell it early. So this one, it's a lot more flat. So actually it does make sense to put a snack from there to there. Because on this bad boy, it'll be very weird. I'm not saying it's not doable, but okay, cool. So regardless though, if she has the air, I'm not the air like that one. It'll be even more fun for me because it's going to be a huge headache to do the dancer right. But if I think it's not going to look right, I'm not going to do it. I do refuse people sometimes. If you think it doesn't right, that doesn't look right, doesn't look naturally, doesn't enhance what you, it's a no, no. I've done it so many times. Uh, people, they say, well, I pay for it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to destroy your life only because. Cool. All right. So I'm just working faster on this. This is turbo fun. All right, cool. Look at that motherfucker. That's amazing. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's one. So all we need now. Hold on. I have a map here. I have a map here, people. I have a map. I have a map. Where is that map? All right, cool. So now I have one there. I need one from there to there. Uh, hold, oh no, hold on a second, hold on a second. She wanted to come from one side to the other. So she wants to go through there. Okay. Hmm. Welcome, Raha. Well, I'm trying, bro, I'm trying. Listen, sharing is caring. That's what they say, brother. I really appreciate you, definitely enjoy, enjoy it. If somebody can learn from it, good luck, man. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, bro. That's why we're here. I mean, things, again, things I share is things I learned. So on my own, and I'm just, the way I look at it, man, if you can help somebody, why not, man? But thank you so much. I appreciate it. You appreciate your comment. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let me put this one here. All right, so that's how it goes. Cool. Now let's find a bad boy to go there. So that's, I need a curb there. Let's see what we find here. That's interesting. What the fuck is that one? That may work. Flip it over. Let's go fast and say hello. Um, all right, that will do. Now, one thing, if it's Photoshop, you see if I do now, image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal, the whole fucking canvas is flipped. And I don't want that. So what you do, you come to edit. So you select the layer, this one. So the last one I, I selected, let me put it on top. So you select the layer, you go to edit, and then you transform. So what happens is it does transform. The layer. All right. And that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. But now I'm taking that part. I'm taking that part here. Again. Layer via cop P. Cool. So here we are. Let's see how that one works. I have to make it realistic. So if it goes that way, but that looks stupid. Fuck, that looks really stupid. That looks really stupid. It's not the right band. So you can do this. You can come to this place and start stretching stuff up. It kind of loses the organic stuff or what it is. Yeah, bro, the true artist never stop learning. You're done fucking right, brother. Well, the thing is, they say when you stop learning, you start dying. So as an artist, man, it's not, it's not about, you have to keep up with your stuff, man. 
You have to keep up with your. Uh, hold on a second. You have to keep up with um, to, until invest in you. You know, you have to keep up and always do stuff and get better. That's what I'm saying. The having having a, having a, the desire always to update yourself. I think it's pretty fantastic, and it should be like that, man. If if you rely on. Uh, if you don't lay on laziness, man, you don't, you don't, you don't do good stuff. And it's for you. It's for your own soul. There's nobody out there to teach you. They should, you know, like to, to, to push you, to hold your hand and uh, ask you to do things. Man, you have to do it for yourself. Listen, the better you get, more money charge, better art, happier you go. Like in anything, if you don't see any, if you don't see any transaction in your, in your work, if you don't see anything appealing, that means you do something wrong. And I think... I, I, I do think it's a, and that looks kind of stupid, but not, that should be here. Uh, okay, now, yeah, I think it's, I think it's good to, I think it's good, man, to, 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 to do stuff. Like, I, I started going out doing live drawing classes. I, it's on Wednesdays, so I go do that one, and I, I kind of realize how catchy like i used to do before like i went to art school i done classic animation so i used to do live drawing all the time i kind of realize how much i i kind of realize how much i didn't um i didn't exercise man because i mean you know it's a memory it's a memory exercising you know all right but, uh, hold on a second i think that snake was totally good come on d let's see how this one let me take this part of the snake. Well, hold on. If I put that there, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do my way. Punk. So you press on this, select inverse, bang, and get this bad boy out. Let's do this bad boy the way we need it. Cool. Come back. Delete that. Get rid of the white. And come on, D. Let's see how we do this. And man, I think this snake has a lot of what I need. Okay, so if I flip it over, I want to kind of see how. Okay, that could look cool there. All right, all right, all right, all right. If I make it smaller, uh, smaller. Let's see how that one works. If I flip it, image. Hold on. I did, as I said earlier, you press on a did, then you flip horizontal and only the image is gonna flip and then let me put a position so what I'm doing is I'm gonna try to see hold on let's do this dry way so I can put the saturation a little bit lower here right uh, all right so now we can no 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 where the f no probably that one hold on that could look cool the problem with this which i see here hold on oh that could work cool let's say we do this right we're gonna come here mm -hmm. yo this i'm telling you man this is hard man i knew from i knew when i start thinking about it how fucked i am um, but it's never too late to say no, but I'm not going to say no because I need to challenge myself and I'm going to do it live. Okay, cool. So this one has to be smaller. See, again, pay attention to proportions, man. It, you kind of just, one thing I don't like is that one, it's thicker there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it smaller here. There you go. Oof. Damn fucking right I'm good, motherfuckers. Ninjas! I'm good. Hold on a second. Now, don't rather excite myself too much because it's not cool. Ooh, what are we doing here? Oh, man. 
can look at that one. Look at that one. Cool. That's done. So I need to put. We need to do this one. Hold on a second. She wants the. All right. Let me see if I can still use part of this neck because this neck has been good to me. The snakey. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oof. Yo, this neck has been good, man. Okay, cool. It's funny how from one image you can get so much. There you go. All right, let's see how that works. Again, it's so basically you have to keep an eye on because this is the bottom part of the neck, so it gets thinner, thinner, thicker, thinner. So you have to be very aware of that part too. So you cannot just randomly stitch shit together because it doesn't work like that. It doesn't fucking work like that. Alright, one. Let's say for instance. Let's say for it. Let's say for instance. I mean rest I can. Let's say for instance it goes like this. Man, I hope she doesn't want to go the snake on the back of there. I, I don't. I mean, that'll be. Yeah, that'll be. More headache for my case here. Let's say like this, and let's say that goes right there, right? I can stretch this one a little bit longer. Let's see how that was. There you go. One. We do this. We then we bring it here. We multiply it. We think bring this bad boy here. I don't like those rings. The, you see the it repeats. So before I even do anything, actually let me do another one here just because. Alright, cool. So this one, so the last one, it should be thinner or smaller, I'll say, right? This one. No, 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 no. Where is the bad boy? Where is the bad boy? No. This one. This one will be smaller. For instance, so this one, where is the last one? This one. This one. Okay. I should go right here. Okay. And now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put those three bad boys in a, in a folder, right? So now I can control three of them. So why I do this, and then I'm gonna... There you go. Boop, boop. So that's why I wanted to do that. There you go. Let's say for instance, cool. Uh, there's another trick to deal with this. The trick will be okay. Let me show. Let me show the trick. Let me see how this one works. Yeah, man. Yeah, true, man. People don't realize it's a lot of fucking work, man. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Now check this. This is a trick. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I duplicate the layer, then I merge the group. So now I have one image, which is a double. Let me see. Nope, hold on a second. Uh, image, edit, transform, flip horizontal. There you go, hold on, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, I printed and made it by hand. What I'm saying, made by hand. After I do, I finish with this. I go on my iPad, and by hand I do the. By hand I. By hand I gonna do the 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 stencil, you know, with a pen because I can zoom in. But basically, it's kind of made by hand. I still pick up stuff whatever I need. Now. 
Alex. Yo, check this. How cool this one is, right? So what I did here. Hold on a second. Cheers, brother. Thank you. So what I did here, as you can see, so we have this one here, right? But doesn't look kind of realistic. So I just flipped them over and here we are. Now I know they don't match there, but I can live with that for now. Here we are. Ooh, and they all has to be smaller just because it doesn't look correct. Now we're talking business. Cool. How about that? And now we need, we need this one. We need to bring the tail. Okay. We need to bring the tail there. But tail. Let me see. Cool tail. No. No. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Damn fucking right. Let's play with this bad boy. Cool. Well, this one actually has a nice curve here. I can use it for what I need. Cool. Come here. Select inverse. Okay, hold on a second. Live via copy, done, bang. And we need the tail. And then edit, transform, horizontal. Still. Oh man. Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense, but well, doesn't matter because I can use this one. Hold on. Alright, one to off from the third one. That's alright, 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 alright. All right. So the third one would be here. Yeah, we're gonna make it work. But anyway. The whole story is maybe a copy. So the whole story is that we do work hard for what we need. Pam 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 mix. Something like that. Now, alright, where is that bad boy? Alright, cool. Here we are. Here we are. So, That could be really cool. Pretty much, I think we got idea. We got idea now. This is easy, man. When you work on the air, I can't use this. So I'm gonna, oh man, this is the whole look overall. But um, pretty much that's the idea. That's how you do in Photoshop. That's the way I do my stuff. I got what I needed. I'm still stuck in the middle because like I needed, I didn't ask for a picture of her, of her air. And I do hope it's like this, not like anyway, but the way the air bends is not gonna. Thanks, Joseph. Thank you so much, brother. So the air goes this and that. So it, listen, this is easy to have like this, right? I mean, that's, that's a fact, man. It's easy. Look at this, right? But that's not realistic because when you put on the air, it doesn't work like that. So it's still kind of more flat. Um, fuck me. Why did I got myself into this? But it doesn't matter. The whole point of the story is that I show you guys how I do stuff. And I show you guys what, how I prepare it. This is usable. This is usable. This is usable. This is usable. I can do freehand. The problem with that one is with freehand. Trust me. 
because I could hear questions. But why are you doing Android? Listen, it's so fucking easy to do T lines. The hard part of it is actually do this. The consistency of scales, the lights, and that's fucking hard, man. And when it comes to rallies, you can't just go halfway because that's no rallies, that's just whatever gimmicks, whatever it is. So I don't do that. I need real pictures. I need the lighting. I need the depth. I need all this. I can draw it. I mean, this is that easy and you can put here. But I still prefer to do my stencil over the over the realistic stuff and play with realistic stuff if you want to do it realistic. Then just, just do a marker and just try to somehow... Listen. They're all right. You see the way they go? This is all. You can't... Trust me, it's that tiny size, like that tiny size on the earth. There's not such a thing you can make it perfect. And then it's going to look like, if it, the lines are not perfect, like it's going to look like a blob. And then I'm going to be kicked in the fucking balls, man. And I'll hate myself for life. And I tell you why. Because it's simple like that. I show right now what I'm talking about. First of all, let me open a... I show exactly what I'm talking about. Because some people may not get it. All right, cool. So that's why there. And we do this, right? Now all set from here to here. Cool. Let me move on a folder. So that's the stuff there. All right, cool. I show what I'm talking about, and then I'll be done for now. I'm gonna need to set up, prepare, merge group. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this filter. Sketch, photocopy details and if somebody's gonna tell me they can fucking draw this shit freehand i'm talking about the pattern if they're gonna draw it freehand the size of a little, little bit thicker than a i don't know like it's tiny if you try to tell me i can tattoo this or mimic the, sh the shape of it but if somebody tries to tell me they can do it freehand or they can draw it I don't fucking believe you. You are a big liar. Because there's no such a thing you can't do it on an organic part of a body. Oh, from a piece of paper? Yes. With a pencil? Yes. Now with a marker, to put on a, on a air, which is actually fucking weird shape in the, regardless, you can't even put your fingers to do it. And then you try to tell me they're going to tattoo this shape, like these things. Stop lying to yourself. Because you're gonna fuck up somebody's face. And what's gonna happen with that? You're gonna look like an idiot. Because you think you're cool doing freehand shit. No, freehand stuff is for different stuff. And that's, I'm not saying free, freehand is different things and can be done. Not when it comes to minuscule stuff and very mathematically correct whatever shapes here. And that's no such thing. And the size of a, I don't know, like ant dick. And to draw it with a marker the size of the house of the Empire State Building. So, pretty much, that's how it is. I got everything. I mean, I can print this one, stick it up. The design is there. It looks natural. Look how cool it looks. Matching the colors, I'm not worried about it. Matching the thing. The stencil is pretty much done. I could print this one. Actually, truly, i just going to do lines. I need to simplify because this, this is too much. When I have to print, I wouldn't be able to print this one. Like it's way too much stuff, but pretty much that's how it is. If I can get this kind of details on the stencil, I definitely can work with the shapes and I'll show you why. And put a little bit more details, darkness. One second, there you go. Cool. I'll show what happens right here. Uh, bang. Okay. Normal. Okay, cool. So what I'm what I'm trying to explain to you guys over here I know the lights and darks, right? Yeah, the smart the image. I do definitely gonna do less details. Definitely I gonna do hold on, let me put this volume down. Definitely I'm gonna do 
definitely I'm gonna do way less details. That's for a fact. What I'm saying is I'm not gonna do all the details. What I'm saying about the shapes, you see already tells me where kind of bends. It's about the things. So I'm, I'm just kind of just mimic a little bit. I'm not gonna do all. I mean that I'm not gonna do all the details, but I still wanna get the, you know, the vibe. Like I know already here being darker those lines. That's actually where the white goes. Like see the it's actually cream, and so on. This is the black part. So to me, when I look at this as a map, I'll know where. So I block here more. I'm not gonna do all the little little tiny things, but it is important to. Like says, so even that curve here from here to there, which is tiny, but on a stencil like this, I know exactly what it is, right? It, it already shows me the pattern, and I can just pick up some, you know, even with dots, just kind of mimic the stuff. So that's the hardest. Trust me, I'm on deep shit here. I'm on deep shit, and I don't even know why the fuck I done this to myself, but that's the reality. Anyway, guys, I do hope you had something to learn, something to put in practice eventually, or even if it's 0.01%, it's learning. Trust me, over, over time when you had, it's going to grow and you're going to end up with 1% in one year and 10% in 10 years. And that's it. If I can help somehow to pass in the process of learning, I hope I don't, I don't like that tail though. That looks like it's going down, it should come up, and... Yeah, it's bullshit. Hold on a second. That looks stupid. I don't like that tail, um, because I don't like it. the, the, the way it looks. I mean, that one definitely I can draw by hand. Cheers, Raha, thanks. Well, no, man, it's not... Ooh, that's cool one. No, bro, I'm just, I'm just, again... I learned this. I learned this one the hard way, brother. I'm no magician, trust me. This is all try and error, man. I don't. I don't so much. I don't. I I I I don't so much over and over stuff that I kind of. Uh, I kind of. Uh, learn it in the hard way. So now I'm just kind of. It's all about repetition. So yeah, but thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. Uh, because nothing is in vain and to hope again you guys is gonna get amazing tattoo artist and yeah, hold on a second there you go hold on a second hold on, hold on. sorry about that i'm just kind of uh caught in the middle here it's kind of hard to talk when and uh do stuff um <laughs> nah bro you don't i'm not your mentor bro Thank you, though. Trust me, there's people. Actually, I don't, I don't even know there's uh, many YouTube channels out there teaching or get, getting more in depth. But again, if I can help, more than welcome. Absolutely. And I really appreciate the words, brother. Hold on, I'm trying to get rid of that, uh, that tail. Where the fuck is that there? Here? No. Trying to get rid of that um, that one underneath. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck it is. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Cool. So. There you have it. I mean, this one, I see that's the thing I can play around, but I still like the um, consistency, you know, the whites and this. That one looks kind of stupid, the three of them together there. I can fuck around with this, but that's the thing. I need a break. I'm gonna smoke and then come back and fuck around more with it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope you like what you see and... I may try to do a live session, if not, I'm going to record it. And probably it's going to be a struggle. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. If you don't subscribe, try to if you want to. If not, tough shit. I don't really give a fuck. I don't really give a fuck if you subscribe or not. That's your own problem, your own business. I'm not a channel that tells people what to do. You can do whatever the fuck you want in life. 
we live in a society when we're all free. So if you're free, do whatever the fuck you want. But if you want to, you're not gonna miss some good stuff going on. Chase Taya Customs, thank you so much, brother. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you later in the live session. Be cool, don't drink and drive. And don't try to be a gangster. We are tattoo artists, not gangsters, bro. Being there, done that is no good. <laughs>